Hello people, you're welcome once again to the Forest Success Tutorial. This is the same strategy for crash and boom and catching spikes. So many people are asking me questions that the strategy it automatically stop working for them. So I'm trying to make you understand more about it. So this is what you need to know about the strategy. I believe we all know how to set it. Well, let me just quickly go around that. For those that don't know how to set it, we have um, the first indicator. It's the average directional movement. Set your period on period 50. Start the first two pixels. Then you use the color of your screen. Then the second, which is D plus DI, you use two pixels you can use any color but i'm using green right here the third is there d minus d i you use two pixel also two pixel then the color of your screen then these are the levels you click the add button the first level zero second five ten twenty thirty five zero and zero that's it you click done then the second it's the moving average period zero shift sorry period 10 shift zero method simple apply to close style for pixel i'm using red then the third market facilitation use volume is thick line width the line width is for pixel mfi up green mfi down black mfi up as well the MFI up volume down should be green. The MFI down volume up is green. Just the way you see it on the screen. It's very simple. Then the commodity China index period 14. Typical price. Typical price. The star is 2 pixel. The levels minus 100 and 100. This I set it. Click the add button. Just like this. Right. Minus 100 plus hundred then you click done so this is it. so guys this is how the strategy works by using the one minute time frame on catching spike so we all know that from the explanation when this green sorry when the that is when the red okay right now we are expecting a spike from this trade right now we are expecting a spike so we all know that when this red moving average crosses the screen line below it gives us a spike when it crosses below at the oversold level we get a spike the oversold is from down you understand from this blue line this is the oversold level it gives us a spike right so right now the red moving average crossed below at this point we got a spike right okay yeah so but so right now though the red moving average also has just crossed below at this point watch out guys watch out it just crossed below so as we can see right here at first it was the green line this green line that crossed below the red but then it turned and then the red moving average crossed below watch it out guys that's what is happening right here so definitely we're going to get a spike very soon just watch out and something i want you to understand because people are complaining to me that it goes on and they don't quickly get the spike they don't get the spike on time here is what i want you people to understand it is better you go to a higher time frame and also analyze okay watch you see this is indicating a downtrend from the 15 minute time frame it is indicating a downtrend why because we're having lower highs you see lower highs lower lows 
So that's it, guys. So right now, <coughs> this is because I was watching this market. It was about to break through from this candle. This candle was about to break through. Normally, at this support, at this support, it was about to break through, but it spiked. Because normally, before it breaks through, it has to like consolidate a little, then it breaks through. So right now, considering the fact that this 15 minutes time frame, it's giving us a say a downtrend because analyzing it you find out that it's giving us lower low which is telling us that a downtrend it's coming that a downtrend is about to form so this is for you to understand that this thing is going down it's a downtrend and here you are expecting a spike for the one minute time frame so it might come but it might not come so what i'm trying to make you understand you see we got a spike but it was a little one you see it guys we got the spike you see the spike this is a life this is a life trading right here i want you people to see it live you can check the dates you'll find out that it's live so i'm trying to make you understand this it's spiked to but it was a very small, a baby spike. And this is because 15 minutes time frame, it's on a downtrend. It's giving us downtrend. See, see, it's a downtrend. So this is why I advise you guys to mostly trade this trade, to mostly enter when you are getting an uptrend signal that is when you are getting when you when your 15 minute time frame is giving you an uptrend this for boom for boom when it's giving you uptrend a reason to buy then you can enter to catch the spike or you can enter when it's about to break through a support when it's about to break through a support like this point, it want to let's say at this point, yeah, this point, you can quickly place your buy, yeah, for the, this 15 minute time frame. That I mean, after considering, after getting the analysis of the one minute time frame, that's the way to catch spike. The spike catcher that it has the red moving average has crossed below the green. Then you can come to this 15 minute time frame and get this done. When you see, find out that yes, it's at the support, you can place the trade because it will definitely spike. Same happened here. It was also about to break the support. You can place this, the buy and then you catch the spike. You catch the spike. So you see, this 15 minutes time frame. It's giving us a downtrend. So this is the reason why people are complaining they don't get the spike all the time or it comes lately. And considering this our analysis, you'll find out that this this um, red moving average crossed above the green moving average, which indicates a say, right? The green line, it indicates a say, for the 15 minute time frame and what's the 15 minute time frame doing now it's selling look it's selling so i'm just only showing you this video because most of some people some traders they they talk to me on instagram telling me that the spikes it takes longer to come at times or sometimes it doesn't come why some say it's working for them so the best time to use this strategy it's when the market is on consolidation it works well at that time so i told you people that you should study the market and understand it use this strategy it will work for you understand it well know how it moves know which which market condition favors it if you enter this is 15 minutes time frame if you start trading 
your one minute time frame to catch spike at this point where this 15 minute time frame is consolidating I mean you catch spikes like like seriously you catch spikes if you trade this by catching with when the market is consolidating that is like from this point to this point you catch spike because it doesn't go the candles doesn't form more before it spikes so once your your conditions are met like the red moving average crossing below the green moving average then you get your spike that's it guys so this is for boom 500 i believe we understand that so the reason why we didn't get this spike it's because to it spike the baby's right because the condition was met the reason why we didn't get it is because the 15 minute time frame is directly pointing down pointing on a downtrend so let's check out um crash 500 guys so this is crash 500 so, so this crash 500 guys so what crash 500 is indicating on the 15 minute time frame so let's first check out the one minute time frame so you see guys it spiked because this red moving average crossed above it crossed above i told you I normally set my stop loss 12 candles after my entry after the red moving average so like here the, I, the red moving average crossed above and then I placed my stop loss 12, 12 candles above so you see it did like one two three four five candles before it spiked it did five candles before it spiked guys so and then we got the black candle which indicates another spike right but it's not all the time i told you guys it's not all the time you see here yeah, it brought another spike but you see here yeah, it brought another spike but it was lately like here yeah, we got the black candle but it brought another spike but it was lately it was late you see so let's check out this 15 minute time frame for crash 500 so for this 15 minute time frame you can see the market hasn't defined its direction yet so we still have to wait for this market we still have to wait let me see from the 30 minutes perspective okay yeah this market is trying to reverse it's trying to reverse but it hasn't given the direction yet so you have to wait for any possible movement for this market it hasn't given its direction yet it broke through this support so it broke through this resistance it couldn't reach up to this resistance for the one day time frame i'm talking about so it's just consolidating it's just consolidating okay let's check out crash 1000 please don't go on a higher time frame or because it will if you blow your account if you have a small account just use one and 15 minutes it's okay for you one 15 minutes if 15 minutes can give you the what you need you can go higher to 30 minutes so you won't avoid blowing your account so let's check on 15 minute time frame it's giving us it's a you see guys it just spiked right now you see this spiked it just spiked now because this red moving average crossed above it spiked and checking from this 15 minute time frame why did it spike why it was about to cross this resistance but it spiked so this is what i was saying guys you can place a trade to catch a spike when you see it's about 
it's causing a resistance or a support level. You understand, guys? When you say it's causing a support level, you please the trade because most 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 spike occurs even in in other trading for volatility and um, stepping this before it breaks through a a support or a resistance level it normally consolidates before it can break through or it reverse so you see that is a very a perfect point to catch spike it's about to cross you see it was it was it was climbing right it was going up it was going up as it was buying but then it spiked so therefore there must be a consolidation here before the market will decide whether to continue the uptrend or to go down or to go low so you see guys that's how it works that's what i'm trying to make you understand before it we can determine its next direction whether it's going up or down so that's how we got the spike for the 15 for the cash 1000 so at this point you have to leave the trade because the market is consolidating you don't know what next to where next it's going so Definitely, the market can continue a downtrend or it can continue an uptrend. To determine that, you just go for a higher time frame and analyze. This is support. It's, it was trying to break through. You see, from the one hour time frame, it was trying to break through this, this resistance. Yeah, it was trying to break through. But it couldn't, it just touched and then came down. So at this point, it's advisable to leave the trade and let the market decide its direction before you enter again. Let me also, let's just check out Boom 1000. I'm trying to make you understand that this strategy, it does work. It's just for you to know the no the perfect way to enter understanding understand the strategy and it's simple truly understand it it works it works question boom question boom understand it it works yeah <laughs> my student calls it the spike catcher yeah that reminds me you can come in, you can DM me on Instagram for mentorship. We are currently running a promo for $50 mentorship. We teach you everything you need to know. We mentor you on how to make we profit. Yeah. So you can DM me on Instagram to register. It's just $50 and it's for a limited time. Um, promo so dm me when you are if you are interested and for it so guys i want to show you this boom so at this point boom is not giving us any reason to get ready to catch spike it's not giving us any spike because the red moving average crossing below indicates a spike Red moving average crossing below indicates a spike. So guys, if you move this your market, if you move the charts, you observe, observe, just watch this. You observe that despite the movements, some red moving average doesn't move just like this one. Like this one, guys. Like this one. At the point it touched, at the point it crossed the green moving average, you observe that some doesn't move. They doesn't stretch. They, they are not flexible. They are just rigid. You see this? Then watch out. Watch out this next one. You see at this point it's moving. I'm continuing to bring it down, but it's still moving. You understand? So you see here yeah, it was the and the, just watch out. Watch the place. The point that it crossed the green moving average at this point it was down right but yeah 
it will come up yeah it's going up you see and this one yeah it's down yeah it's down yeah it's down yeah it's down this is the moving average i'm talking about at this point it cost so guys watch out for this type of moving average they don't feel this type of moving average that doesn't move so when you're analyzing and then let's say it's coming here it's coming here and it coming closer it want to touch and then you move like this and it doesn't move man guy quickly enter that trade because you are going to catch spike it's definitely going to spike when it doesn't move this one doesn't fail at all and the good thing about it it's a long spike it spikes it continues that just shows that an uptrend is occurring a heavy uptrend so you see here too wherever it happens like that this one that does move there might just be one or two but this one you see this one again it did not move and you see the different spike numerical spike it brought fight so you see this one it moves just one spike this one it does not move it is rigid one see more spikes you see guys this one does move just one single spike this one it does not move it rigid you see spikes so guys this is how this strategy works it is it is simple so i believe you guys you understand this you understand this right so that's how it is so look at red moving average crossing above for the cross 500 the red moving average now is crossing above the green which is indicating a spike so it just crossed above it just crossed above it we're going to get a spike just get ready for it at least 12 candles will get a spike and i believe the spike will, you see guys you see it just occurred now it just occurred so this is how the strategy work i didn't place a trade it just occurred you so this one is life now i believe you now believe the strategy right so you watch this this is your point of focus just here you see it crossed and then we got a spike this is how the strategy works it works truly speaking so we got a spike this is the spike catching strategy so if you want to learn more about trading crash and boom synthetic indices do me on instagram to register for our mentorship program so you have nothing to bother because we are going to show you how to make massive profits trading synthetic indices yeah so um hearing rumors about people saying derive money derive are manipulating the market but guys even if they are manipulating it you still have a way to also manipulate them and have your way on it so dm me for mentorship guys let's do re-trading business so thanks guys for watching this strategy you can subscribe to the channel and like this video thanks for enjoying this and i hope you learned this i hope you understand so i just want to show you this quickly you see the 15 minute time frame okay guys so that's it you know we're actually looking out for selling opportunities from here okay let me put it on the 30 minute time frame so that's it guys so thanks for watching this and then yeah so thank you guys for watching i just want to quickly show you something on the boom 500 okay boom 500 got this baby spike that time and got another spike it crossed below again and then we are expecting another spike because look we're expecting another spike this is a support at this support that it broke through it's going to spike it's going to spike during this support it's going to spike here watch out it's going to spike okay 
because the one minute time frame has given us the red moving average crossing below. So we're expecting a spike. Remember the stop loss is at most 12 candles. It's going to spike from either here or when it's breaking this point. So from year to year we're expecting a spike. So that's it guys we're expecting a spike even from the 30 minute time frame you can see before it's it's a downtrend that's why the spike is delaying it's a downtrend but before it breaks through it might break up to the level and then go back then to just become a, a low that's it just the market touched it but it couldn't sustain it it's go back that's what is going to happen uh, this video is really going to longer than I planned, so this 26 minutes. So I will, I will close this. I'll end the video for now. So thanks, guys, once again for for all your support and everything. Thanks, I really do appreciate. Just crash 500 got another spike so subscribe to this channel and don't forget to dm me on instagram for mentorship yeah thanks once again